It's August 24th, 2019, and every once in a while, Christopher Everard um, slips up, and he kind of lets people know who he really is. Uh, see my other videos for things like that. He's posted things on the Feed Your Brain page and uh, other things over the years that that show him for what he really is. I think in a weird sort of way, he wants people to know that he's a pedophile. Um, he's gone public like uh, um, protecting the pedophile Jonathan King. He has a mutual friend with that guy. Um, he he's he kind of wants people to know, and I think he's kind of brazen about it. But anyway, um, this is just one of the times, and this was, what, three hours ago, according to his Facebook page. Christopher Everard wrote, This is Putin's secret girlfriend. She just gave birth secretly to twins. They sealed off the entire top floor of Moscow's best hospital. She's a gymnast. And then he writes that he sort of see, sees what attracted him. Right there. This is, this is what he wrote. Look, I'm highlighting it right there. That's what Christopher Everard wrote. He sort of sees what attracted Putin to this girl, because that's a photo of an underage girl. That's a child, okay? If this is true, and this is Putin's secret girlfriend, I don't know, I don't care. But let's look at who this woman really is, because she's actually a 36-year-old uh, woman. She's 36 years old. All these other photos over here that Everard could have chosen, you know, of a 36-year-old woman. And he chooses this one of a little girl. Even someone on his Facebook page calls him out on it and says she looks about 12. Actually, they're not, I don't even think they're really calling him out on it. I think they're laughing about it. And then, I, I mean, I, I really think that his followers are blind. They're blind and dumb and gullible. He, he thinks they're blind and dumb and gullible. He sits back, gets on Facebook, gets drunk, smokes pot, and he just laughs at what people write on Facebook, on his posts. And he kind of posts them up there for his own entertainment. And he will just sit back and, and talk about how stupid people are and talk about how dumb their comments are. You're, you're posting comments on Christopher Everard's posts, and meanwhile, he's laughing at you. He has such disdain for his followers, okay? And right here, he's telling you what he is, that he sort of sees what attracted him, and the photo he chooses is this? That, that, that's the photo? Okay, that's a photo of a young girl. If this is true and the girl just had twins or whatever, she's 36 years old. This is what the woman looks like now. But this is what Christopher Everard thinks is attractive. This is a young child. Okay? Now, over the years, Everard has um, sort of slipped up. Or in a weird way, I think he maybe wants people to know that he's a pedophile. I don't know. Um, but he's he's uh, slipped up and, and um, gone on his Feed Your Brain page and posted things, and people called him out on it, said it looked like underage stuff to them. Uh, see my other videos for that. He has um, gone public in defending Jonathan King, the famous UK pedophile. Look into that one. Everard has a mutual friend with that Jonathan King guy. Okay, um, Everard's favorite artist, I forget the guy's name, I want to say it's like Richard Hamilton or something, and um, uh, photographed young nude girls just happened to be in the same village that uh, Christopher Everard lived in. Okay, um, I mean it's, it's weird. It's not weird, I know what's going on, you guys need to know what's going on. Christopher Everard is a pedophile he is hiding in the truth movement. He's using it for the perfect cover. It's actually some sort of weird... Uh, he's actually deviously um, intelligent. Chris Reverend's not intelligent in, by any means, but he's devious. 
and he's hiding in the truth movement so that when someone like me or someone else, because there's been a few of us come out on him and expose him for what he actually is, um, when someone comes forward about him and says what he is, he can say he's being persecuted for the types of subject matters that he covers. The guy doesn't leave his house. He never leaves his house. I've shown you his house. He doesn't leave his house. He doesn't go anywhere. Oh, I think there's another Facebook post. Oh, it's so funny. Where Where is it? Oh, this is it. I'm swimming in the ocean, fresh back from Paris, the Illuminati watching me. Yeah, right. Head on the block. No, it's not. But I'm protected by angels. He wants to make you think that he's some kind of like James Bond character. He is a pedophile. He lives like a hermit. He is a nasty, unhygienic, gross person. He takes the money that you give him for whatever subscription you bought. He'll actually take, do identity theft on you. He'll open up PayPal ac accounts under your name. You won't even know about it until PayPal informs you. He is a criminal. He is a con man and a criminal. And he sits back, gets drunk, does drugs, and watches these Facebook posts and laughs at you. Okay? That's what he's doing. So, I don't know. I just wanted to make a quick uh, little video because this sometimes he outright comes out with what he is. And this is what he is. No normal man would be attracted to a child. Only a pedophile is attracted to a child. Okay, so let's get that straight. And um, so, anyway, don't give this guy any money. Don't don't order subscriptions from him. Don't order DVDs from him. Don't order books from him. Don't don't give this guy any money. You're just perpetuating his filthy, deviant, criminal lifestyle. Okay, and that's what he is. And this is another little snippet. And you'll you'll see them once you know what Christopher Everard is, you will see it. Everyone does. Okay, there was a psychologist on the Egypt tour with us. She knew it immediately. She knew it immediately. Anyway, a lot of people could spot it. Um, anyway, just be safe out there. Stay safe on the internet. Stay safe in everything. I, I don't know. This is just exhausting. I'm so sick of Christopher Everard. He needs to be in jail. He needs to be arrested. Um, he's on and on about um, this Epstein monster. Meanwhile, Christopher Everard is a little Epstein. Um, they all kind of live the same way. He, he's, I think Everard, in a weird sort of way, was modeling his life after Epstein and Branson and stuff like that. And um, I think some of these... So these people were like his heroes in a weird sort of way. Yeah, well, it, it's normal to him, weird to us. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't even know what some of these posts are he's making. It's He's just, this guy needs to be in jail. He sort of sees what attracted him to this guy. That's a photo of a young girl. Just keep that in mind. The actual woman is 36 years old. Christopher Everard chooses to post up a photo of her as a young girl. Think about that. Okay. Anyway, I'm off. Uh, this is my weekend and um, I am done with this shit. I, Everard needs to be arrested and immediately. Okay. Have a good weekend.